Alright. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy, Van. Um, I know we haven't done like any like vlogs, videos, or anything like that in a few months, really. Um, that's really been lazy as far as doing the vlog thing and whatnot. But uh, basically, a um, little different day. Um, a lot of guys know how to tie a tie, regular tie, you know, necktie. But, um, you know, I have a bunch of people ask me how to tie a bow tie because um, I do wear bow ties on occasions. Um, you know, but people ask me, like, you know, is that a self tie or is that a clip on tie? And no, I know how to tie a bow tie. Um, basically, I learned it from watching all the videos on YouTube and try to figure it out. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's definitely a process to learn for sure. Because um, it took me a good few days to actually learn how to actually tie it. And then once I actually got it, um, you know, I got the basic part of it, basic form of it, but it looked kind of off, so that's what threw me off. So, like, I had it right. But when you actually get it, it's, like, really it's super easy. In fact, it's, like, a lot like tying your shoes, really. So, um, so, you know, you've seen all the videos and whatnot, so I'm just going to do my own little version of how to tie a bow tie. Um, some people like to practice on their legs. Only because, um, you know, when you do it on your arm, up here, on your neck or whatnot, it kind of tires out the arms, especially if you try and do it multiple times. So you can just basically do a little quick practice on the legs here, but we're not going to really do that because y'all you know, can't really see. So um, obviously you need a bow tie, and they do come adjustable most bow ties nowadays. So um, to be, I wear 15 and a half, so I go like a half size smaller. The solo is not as long on the tie, but um, you know you can kind of adjust that accordingly. So honestly, so yeah, um, raise the collar, of course, and then button the top part like so, and then f first step, what you do is um, you know this is pretty much be the video video. But um, you want to put the ends like that. Put one end um, with that skinny part right there, the hourglass shape. Uh, put it right the one end like on that end there. So you do that, and then what you'll do is you'll loop the wider end over, and then bring this end through the loop here so you bring it th th over and through and then you grab both ends and you tighten it up like this now this is where you want to uh, keep it together um, so you'll bring the short end shorter end or the small the one that's bot the bottom and over and you'll form the basic shape of it so you form the bow tie just like that, keeping it tight all the while. And then you can just like stick your finger on the middle and middle right there where the knot will be. The next step is you'll bring the wide end over that bow like so. And this is where it gets tricky. This is where people, a lot of people tend to screw up because they don't know where to find that loop. Um, I'll try to be a little close, but there's a hole, there's a little knot, there's a little gap in the, in the back of that bow you made earlier. What you want to do is bring the end you to put over and then you'll kind of this poke, you'll p p bring this part through that hole in the back so you can kind of just push it through there and then not all the way but you'll kind of grab that and then you'll basically be able to form that sh shape and then so you basically got and then you'll kind of just tug both ends you know kind of just form it and then you pull it accordingly 
through like that and you basically got your bow tie all set and then you can kind of uh, roll it over and kind of adjust it, pull it both ways so it's kind of in shape and then you can pull it out so you can bring your collars down and that's basically how to tie a bow tie so the trick is just to find a hole in the back of that bow tie and then basically got it so no mirror as in And the thing about um, the difference, the main difference between a clip-on and a self-tie, clip-on ties are perfect symmetrical shape, so that they line up perfectly and even and whatnot. With a self-tie bow tie, um, you kind of don't want to go that route. You don't want to line up perfectly. You want to have a bit of like, you know, ruffle or you know, kind of slightly out of alignment, but not too much. This so adds character and you know, it shows that you know how to tie a bow tie yourself. So, um, you know, I started wearing bow ties a couple, couple years ago because first I wanted to learn because um, obviously you don't see too many people wear bow ties other than like uh, tuxedo, black tie, galas, and typically those ties are the clip-on ties, so they're only the black ones. Nowadays, bow ties, I don't know if they're really making a comeback too much, but, you know, a lot more people are definitely trying to rock a bow tie um, that I've seen on the streets and whatnot so um and it kind of came out of a joke one time because someone called me a, a corny ass bow tie wearing mother effer um in the club but we'll um we won't get into that um <laughs> story because that's kind of a gag order but um you know it's, it's it's a good look. It's different, definitely. Um, different from you know your conventional ties. Um, so basically, yeah. I mean, just a few simple steps, really. And um, once you actually get it, I mean, you can do it as a pro. I do have a quite quite a few bow ties myself. So um, how to tie a bow tie, man? By me. Um, want more hints and tips on how? Um, you know, you can follow me on my blog or Twitter or whatnot. Um, also, a lot of places are starting to work, sell bow ties again. Um, Nordstrom's, Macy's, apartment, Major's apartment stores, finally. Because um, my first few bow ties I had to get off eBay, and you know they're kind of the cheap ones. Um, so, you know, those are now my practice ties, basically, uh, bow ties. <laughs> but yeah, um, and that's one last thing: how to take off the bow tie. You can just grab either end, really, and then just kind of just like pull it out. That's like how you do with your shoelaces. So pull it out, and you can just kind of let this let it hang like that, you know, for the night when you're done wearing your bow tie. So it's definitely a, a good classic look, especially with the black tie. Um, yeah, bow ties are just a classy uh, vintage look that you can wear um, for all occasions, really. From uh, you know, you want to be hipster chic to. Um, Ultra formal black tie affair galleys. So, um, also, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, um, Happy Holidays, and all those that celebrate other holidays Kwanzaa, Festivus, Boxing Day, Hanukkah, um, whatever your, whatever your uh, thing may be during the holiday season. Um, you know, I hope all is well and that you share it with your loved ones. and. We'll see you in 2012. Well, I'll probably post another video before then, but, you know, we'll see you in 2012. So, follow me on my blog, VanLee23. I'm out.